Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling King, we're off for more of One Shot. In the last episode, or in the last session entirely, in fact, we did what the author told us in the Clover app, and, well, we quote-unquote deleted our save by, by, you know, moving it over here and whatnot. But we also had to desync, or more like disable cloud save syncing from Steam, which removes the quote-unquote one-shot restriction so that we're able to reboot our game, but because the app, the Clover app, runs separate, we have data left over, the game detects that, and I guess Nico kept her memories of what happened, and well, we completely diverged to a completely different tangent, went into a completely different location using the journal, in the barrens, in deep into the mines, and we found a prototype profit bot who basically absolutely demolished the fourth wall to the point that a fourth wall doesn't even exist anymore. Nico is aware that they are in a game, and despite being the only per living actual person that matters inside the game, kind of went into a depressed, kind of mellow state, like, eh, it don't matter if I die, it'll just regenerate again, even though prof the, the prototype profit bot said that this could be the run that will give us the true ending and whatnot, which, obviously, you know, Solstice Update, that's kind of a thing, so, yeah, we made it into the Glen with all of our items from, that we re retained from the Barons. Silver, you know, the Urza robot, the engineer, got not only crushed, or seemingly crushed, but also corrupted by the glitches of the world, and then Profitbot got, well, prototype Profitbot got left behind as well, due to the being sectioned off by the glitches, and Nico had to go on by alone, well, with us, of course, but Nico was just, like, kind of half-blaming me, I think, and it was like, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Uh, I feel bad, but we rested into the same bed that we rested in in the Glen beforehand, and to be fair, I didn't expect this game to go on this long. I didn't expect to have, like, up to... Well, this would be part 18 at this point. This is, like, what, the 6th, 7th session? So, that's crazy. But, yeah, um... I don't know if we're gonna get a dream this time. So... Let's build up the game again, I guess. Or are we just gonna go straight in? Um, oh, yep, yeah, we're gonna go straight in. No dream. I guess Nico was too distressed to even have a dream. Oh dear. Um, that's interesting. That really is interesting. All right. Um, okay. I'm a little too tired from what... Really? I can save again already? Oh, well. I suppose there's more work to do. Okay, so I guess there is no limit to... How much sleep Nico wants, I guess, because they're distressed and they can't sleep properly to have a dream. They can sleep wherever they want, so I can safely close down the game. Even though, because of the Steam version and the Sources update is only available on the Steam version, that doesn't really matter, because I can just click X. Of course, if you play in the original version, you wouldn't even have the Sources update, and, click, and if that's the case, you'd never want to click X, but you get what I mean. So, hmm, interesting. So, I guess we should just continue like what we did normally, and the game just lagged out massively there. So, yeah, the bridge is broken and we can't go onwards, which is annoying. This place has completely been ripped asunder. It's crazy. And, uh... They're in the door. So we can't even get into the refuge in that direction, so... We can't even head to the tower, which is kind of an issue. I guess the game expected me to do another reset and go back the normal route, but that ain't happening. Uh, so... Yeah, at the very end, this dude ta uh, told us to check the big robot, and, well, he's kind of destroyed. This is the exact same area as the front of the ruins from beforehand, it's just in a much more ruined state, so... Yeah. They're squares all over the big robot. Uh, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. Alright. Do we have to help Alula again? I mean, I know what the puzzle is without, unless the puzzle is once again different. Never mind. I can't even get into the room. Is Alula just trapped behind there? The squares are just everywhere. <laughs> Nico's freaking out. 
Uh, okay. Do I go back? Oh. Oh, there are more bl bricks in the way than usual. I can still get around here, though. I swear there used to be a robot around here. Squares again. Isn't that where the computer is but up there? So I can't even check the computer for the puzzle if I could, but I can't get to that location anyway, so... Hmm. This isn't good. Is this music different? I don't... It doesn't... I don't, I'm not too sure. That's completely blocked off by both... There are so many glitches, it's unbelievable. Wow. Blocks are blocking everywhere. I'm just stuck on a linear pathway at the moment. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you at least? Yes, I can. <laughs> hello, person. Two children reside near here. Can I go? The pathway is blocked. By blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. Yep! <laughs> Nico, Nico remembered! Oh, that is awesome. Never knew it'd be so easy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's actually quite amazing that Nico remembered that and just decided, you know what? I'm going to punch it out of the way. And <laughs> just like, never thought it'd be that easy. Because Alula showed him, showed her, excuse me. Him, her, ugh. I don't know why. It didn't. Ow, my foot. Ow. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wow. That was amazing. Oh, they're both here. Wait, how? How? Columbus is supposed to be in the forest. Looking for Alula. And Alula is supposed to be trapped behind that puzzle behind a glitch but I can't even reach the puzzle because of another glitch and now these two can't even get in because of the glitch and I've just stumbled upon them both without even trying okay things are even more different than before I thought they were supposed to be running on a certain cut maybe they couldn't even go in the directions they wanted to because the glitches were here all along maybe is that how long the minecart trip takes three days because Calamus said he'd been looking for three days well, I don't even know oh the door I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Is this music a deeper tone? Oh, my stars. You're the saviour. Um, uh, it's an honour to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it! Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares. They're way more than before. Even the gates of the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Yeah, uh, Nico, these guys can't remember what happened. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, nothing. Almost let that slip, Sean. <laughs> well, that weren't my doing, that was all you. <laughs> Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would it be rude to not call you by name? No worries, Clamus. How did you know my name? I um uh, <laughs> Nico. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Is this is this my fault? Is Nico gonna blame me for this? <laughs> not again. I'm sorry, I just knows these things, Clamus. Right. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Aluna, for coming through. <laughs> wow, I know that things are so dire, and we just had such a depressing moment in the very last episode, at the very end of last session, but this is insane. This is funny. <laughs> Awkward, but funny. Ah, oh, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. Looks like we can't get into the city through the old gate anymore. Do... If you enough, know another way to get in? I remember... I mean, I heard there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if there'll be any use here. It's been flooded for a long time. There's no boat. I had a feeling, just like in the mines, there was a location that we couldn't go to because there was no boat. And maybe we can do the same thing with the journal that we did before. Maybe there's a clover there that I didn't notice before. Maybe I could check previous footage as well, just to confirm that we did actually see it and I just don't remember. 
So that would be pretty in insane, because those clo those single clovers are like the key right now. It's been followed for a long time, there's no boat. Not to mention, the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I would still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. Alright, in that case, please follow us. Alright, so things are going like normal. That's uh, not bad. But before we do that, I want to head back just for a moment. Because I might have missed something, and I don't want to miss something. Unless every single way... I mean, it's not like I could have gone anywhere else. I'm literally stuck on a linear pathway. So... This would lead us to Maze. Is Maze still here? Is it, Maze should have been regenerated along with the world at this point. Since we've cut the save back. Is Maze still here? Yeah, the maze is still here. Oh no. I can't give up the sun again. Because I need to, I need it to continue. Maybe I shouldn't have came. You're here to see me? What happened to you? Don't you remember, Nico? You remember Lula and Calamus, but you don't remember Maze? Hold on. I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. Oh, so last time the vines were blocking areas to keep people safe from the squares, but since the squares have already done enough damage, she's now using the vines to keep the islands together, which is how we were able to cross over gaps, like how we reached the save point before, the, the bed. So, maybe she won't take the sun, and she's using her last bit of life in order to hold everything together. So maybe we can't do this, and this is just going to play out differently. Which still annoys me that I couldn't get bloody water because I missed something in the glen. But that's in the past. Or in a previous cycle. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers. The best I could do, yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Nico remembers. Tempting, but I must. The sun brings me comfort, but stress is good. For this, fear is good. Makes me strong. The vines grow faster. But if I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. That's how it did before. We gave her the sun, she relaxed, and the vines stopped gr it growing in the places that they did in order for us to progress. But because she relaxed and she was just all mellow, she just peacefully passed on and retreated into that little kernel that I couldn't grow again, which still makes me feel bad. Because I missed one item, and yet I was surrounded by water, and there was also a watering can already half full. I still think that is really dumb, that I can't just grab a beaker or that pre-filled watering can and just bring it with me. That breaks the immersion. It's so dumb. Like I said, I don't want to keep harping on about it, but since we're here... Saviour. The villagers. The children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Oh, I have control again. It's not clear. Come on. Do not worry. I am fine. That means she's literally going to go down fighting this time, which, to be fair, I think sounds a bit better, but at the same time, it feels bad that we can't help her again, or attempt to help her again, but things are playing out differently, so it's like, if we do try to help her, she'll probably, like, give in peacefully, and even though that sounds like a good idea right now, too many lives are on the line in, in this immediate time space, and I can't go anywhere else because all the blocks are blocking off, so literally, that was optional. So that was optional, and yeah, so th there is only literally one way I can go. So the Barrens was pretty much the main puzzle for Solstice at this point. The Glen, I'm just guessing I'm just passing through. The squares are blocking the doorway. Do we still have all items from before? Yeah, we do. We still have that memory disk backup. I don't know where we use that, though. Hello! At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. 
No, don't say that. Don't jinx it, please. We usually get to the burial grounds for our, for our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. I love Lula's designs. It's so cute. Adorable. It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Ding-a-ling! Fish! Fish! <laughs> Sorry, I have to do these again. They're just too adorable. Oh my god. Okay, there's one more thing to check and I need to check it. It's clothes. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. Well, how? You can't get into your house. Wait. We can't get back into our house. <laughs> well, at least that's different. Alright, so this is the room we need to be in. Was there a clover in here? Is this different? More broken? I don't... That is very faint. Can I get, can I get my mouse? It's right here. It is right here. Right here. That is crazy. That is hard to see. That's why I probably didn't notice it before. But now I know I'm looking for a clover. I spotted that little black speck. But I can't do anything until I activate this cutscene. Because the journal isn't glowing. Oh, that's different. I don't recognise that dude, I don't think. Nico. What's wrong? Well, like it was just about a faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? You know, it's weird. Why did it happen in the refuge alleyway last time? I mean, we were able to actually talk to that fox. And it said, if you find a way to return, come see me. I'm guessing we're going to have to look for the fox when we get into the refuge, but we've got to get down there yet. Unless we're already going to be on the surface. And we just skip the entire over top, uh, the over top, top area of the lift, you know what I mean. Oh. Only I was in the barrens, and I saw something like this too. That profile was being, like, that, that, my, this particular mugshot's been used quite a lot in this, like, part of the game. I don't think it's been used that often in, um... The main game. It was like a dream, only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Yep, Nico's put it together. Wait, I had a vision. Let me check the journal. It blows! Oh! I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back in the Barrens, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again and... Where did you get that? Oh, uh... I had it with me back when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Sure, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. You trust me again! Yes! <laughs> oh, I was getting worried that you would have been hating me unless you put that in the past and you're like, I need you right now. I don't know if you're just using me as a means to an end. Okay, so there's going to be something there. And, well, that was kind of pointless because I just need to stand here in order to use it. And why is it? Oh yeah, I have to actually do this. There we go. And Hibuski! There's now a boat in the wireframe. Wow! How did that boat get there? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in from an overhead view. And then, a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Sure must have done something. Still. Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mum again! Wait. Come on, Clamus! Sure and Nico are with us! Well, if Sean made the boat appear, then it should be safe. As far as I know, it's just the journal. I match things up, things happen. I'm just basically telling Nico to check the page in the right spot. I don't know what I'm doing. What do you think, Sean? Uh, well, considering that this has been a linear route and we can't really go anywhere else, I'd say go for it. Can we go yet? Can we? we can leave whenever you're ready. So, are we a Oh, no, I don't want to bring him with me. I think I know what's going to happen. The same thing's going to happen like before. 
They can't leave their areas. That might be why the glitches were stopping Silver and Prototype ProfitBot from leaving. But then again, they've been this way before. They say that they have been this way before, but isn't... The game's not going to take this lightly, is it? It's going to hurt them in some way. And I do not want Alula or Clamus to get hurt at all. I mean, I didn't mind Silver because she was quite strong. I knew that. She Because, you know, Urza Scarlet, I was like, yeah, she's probably a powerful robot of some sort. But these two are just kids. Come on. Here we go. Oh, they just, okay, we just have a crossfade. Oh, I have to control the whole lot. You want to go back, Nico? Nah. All right. Onwards. Oh, wow! Okay, I've never seen this image when I'm looking for images for the end cards. Nico looks so happy. I like this. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice change of pace from the end of last time. Oh, wow. This artwork is so good. I just wish it was a little bit more animated than the slideshow, but it just... Drives home the fact. Oh, God. Okay, I can only go up and down. Oh! Okay, nothing happened! Oh! I'm happy. We made it. Come on, Lula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. She takes it well. Oh, we've got more clovers. And I can't actually check them. Can I read what these say? It's a gravestone. Oh, dear. I like how I just got so happy, and then it's like, oh, right, we're in a graveyard. Wait, hang on. There's a transparent door. Oh, they're light bulbs. I get it. Do any of these actually say anything? No, they don't. Okay. Um, is this a big circle? I'm just exploring. Oh, that looks like the guy that we just saw in the vision. I'm not going that way yet. I want to stick around here for a moment. I don't want to be jumping the gun and missing out on things. But I don't want to be missing out on things by not looking thoroughly either. Is this all there is? Just a bunch of gravestones on a bunch of islands, I guess. This place hasn't been affected by the glitches. I haven't seen a single one. That's weird. This is so grave. Ah. It's been years, but it's still hard, you know. Ugh. Lula. Wanna help me look for some flowers for Mum Lula? Yes! <laughs> Mum, you're not gonna believe what happened. Today we met the Messiah and... Hi, Nico! Hi. <laughs> Alright then. You know, I don't know how to feel about Alula. She's just so full of energy, it don't even matter. It's like, yeah, I know my mum's dead, she's in the grave. I'm too happy for this. This is insane. I guess she's just taking it well. I hope she can see us wherever she is. At least I still got my sister. That's like both happy and mellow at the same time. I don't know how to feel about that. That's like, wow. Just, just wow. I don't, I don't think I want to say anything else again if I say something wrong. I mean, it's not like it doesn't hit home. I mean. I'm just gonna say right now. I mean, I've lost my nano. I've lost my granddad. It's it was hard. I know. I know how it is. But even though it did get me down, I didn't stay down. But yeah, um, yeah. That's all I can say, really. Oh, it's this music again. Uh, what voice do I give this guy? Um, I'm trying to think of a voice. It's you. You, uh, my name is Nico. Ah! Nice finally to meet you. No, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you too. I am aware. Prototyper contacted me earlier saying that you would be on your way to the city. Oh, that's why he was saying that you had to make a connection. Ah, okay. I'm sorry I kept interrupting him. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it would be faster for me to, p to pick you guys up. 
Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What? There's a plane. That thing behind you. Oh, you mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realise they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you tall? Are you the friend that Calamus and Alola was talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. Okay, didn't didn't people say in the library that the author invented the flying machine to gather information about the world with ease? Are you somehow... Another living being? Or part of, like... Son of the author? Are you the son of the author? Do you know anything about these covers? Do you know anything about this book? I want answers, damn it! I just realised we never got the amber. Silver showed it to us, but we didn't actually got it. Have we messed up? And we haven't got the feather from Alula either at the moment. And don't we need all three for the tower? Unless things are going to play out differently, because we still need to get to the tower. But I'm guessing we're going to do something different when we get there. But don't I still need all three items? I still need the dice. I missed out on the amber. I don't know what's going to happen with that. And I need the feather from Alula. And we don't have any of them. All we have is the sun. Oh dear. Well, if we're screwed, I might have to replay bits. I do have that backup save file. God, I'm only at 26 minutes. It was the original owner of the flight machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way! Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. Oh great, the glitches are here! I checked, but... There isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I notice some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are. Ugh. I guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? You said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually... Back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in. And then a bunch of squares. He... The robot lady... No. He did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as we have this, I should be able to bring it back. Really? It's going to be hard, but yes. You need all three of us. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I obviously have the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Okay, so we don't have a battery because we already used that up in the Glen once again. Because we still have to do some stuff normal in order to get to the residential area to solve the puzzle to get to this point in the first place. But I've never bumped into gears before. So, where am I going to find those? Unless I can salvage them from dead robots. Hmm, that might be an idea. Do you think we'll be able to fix it if Sean and I help you find those things? Sorry about that awkward cut, the phone was going off and um, I missed it because <laughs> I didn't hear it because I had my headphones on. Oopsie poopsie. Do you think we'll be able to fix it if Sean and I can help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high tech area. I'm not sure you'll be able to find anything so specialised here. We'll try anyway. We really can't do anything else right now. Alright! Progress has been made-ish. It's a crowbar. Can we not use it? It's a plane! Flying machine. Right. <laughs> We're really gonna have that argument, aren't we? It's a fire. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to find again? A battery for the engine and a few gears to replace the broken ones. If you can find me the parts I need, I should be able to get this machine off the ground again. Alright, so we know what we're looking for. Now where would we find such stuff? I haven't actually seen any shining things so far. Unless... Nope, I was hopeful there. Um, hmm. Is the channel glowing again? No, it's just back to normal again. Alright. Fair play. Uh, let's talk to Calamitous and Alula. Maybe they have some spares lying around. Hey, do you know where I could find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Ah. Oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they know where it is. Gotcha. Thanks. <coughs> My throat's clogged. Do you know where I could find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like a metal circle with thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something ma Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. Oh, okay. Wait. Everywhere I went to was blocked off. Maybe some glitches have now moved? Hmm. Or maybe there's more vines. Ha ha ha. He collected all kinds of funny stuff. <coughs> Why is my throat so clogged? Jesus. Sorry, I might have to cut that out. I'll redo that. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh, yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Wow, rude. <laughs> Alula doesn't give a shit. <laughs> She's so, so free-spirited. All right, so we can go back by ourselves. That's cool. Oh, we don't get the scenes again. Oh, that was so good. I, I know what I'm using for the end card on this segment. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Right, so... Got to head back here. And I have got some rubbish to trade off. I mean, what do we not need? We don't... Well, we could still use the crowbar, but I don't think the sponge or the empty syringe is going to help. Or even the empty bottle, for that matter. Oh, yeah, funny that. Now we've got a container for water. Outside of the Barrens, oh my lord. It just never ends with this water situation, does it? <laughs> Hello? Hello, person. Two children reside near here. You don't say anything new. All right, then. No, that's back to maze. That's not what we needed to do. Stu can't go... Oh, wait. I can actually go around this uh, glitchy stuff. Um, this way, perhaps? There's nothing down that way. I don't see any directions that I can go. I'm still on a linear pathway. So how do I get to the trader, dude? Unless someone's repaired the bridge. Hmm. Unless there are vines there now, so I can cross the bridge. Maybe. If I go down this way, nope. Glitches are still there. Hmm. I'm about to exit. Yeah, I'm about to exit. The only thing I can think of is that there are vines now crossing the bridge. Vines crossing the bridge. Bloody hell. No. Bridge is broken. Um. Oh dear. Uh. Okay, so how do I get to any other areas? I'm literally on a linear pathway here. I can't navigate. That's back in there again. This way will just take me back to the minecart, which doesn't help me. I wonder what Nika would say if I try to take it. We can't go back now, Sean. Okay. Fair play. So, maybe I need to talk to Maze, see if she can make one bridge for me. But I'm worried that might kill her. But at this point, the only that's the only other direction I can go that is not blocked off. Because I'm stuck on a linear pathway, and I can't move anywhere else. Either because there are blocks in the way from the from the place collapsing, there's glitches in the way. So yeah, I might have to ask Maze if she can build a new bridge for me. Hmm, that's a lot to ask, especially in the final hours of need. I like how that she's now become relevant, and not just a trophy in the original run. Hello. Yep, things are different. I, um, I have something to ask of you. Yes. 
Looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right. The bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah! Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges. Are in very specific locations. In the water. You need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong too. An undertaking. Ah. Uh, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't want that happening. <laughs> Why is the updated run so evil? <laughs> Dude. I don't want this. Please stand back. No, I don't want this. Oh god. Oh god. Uh that did not look pleasant. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... She just exploded in the vines! She overexerted herself so much that she just exploded. I don't know what to say about that. I thought she was just going to regenerate back into a seed again, but I guess she still has to, like, keep the vines going. So I guess she's just, like, put everything into the vines to fix one bridge. I swear, if it, right, I swear, if it's just that one, if it's just fixing that one missing block, I'm going to feel so bad, but if it's made an entire new bridge, then I, I, I understand. If it's the one block, though, I'm going to feel really bad. Don't, please say it's a completely new bridge. Please say it's a completely new bridge. No! <laughs> it was just the one block! Really? One block? One block was enough to kill her? Are you killing me? You, you've got to be killing me right now. Oh, puns. Oh, unintentional pun. It was, a, it was an unintentional slip. I meant to say kidding, I said killing, and it's like killing me. Ah. If it was a completely separate bridge, like... I mean, that might be, I can understand why that would have killed her as well, because that means that she's got to spawn vines where there wouldn't be any ground underneath. So they probably had to go underneath and then wrap around like that. Or underneath the entire bridge. And that would have been a little bit more easier, but... Damn, man. I did not want that. I didn't want to kill Maze personally. I am responsible for that. I am responsible. No, the game is responsible. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm putting the blame on myself. Jesus. This area is looking. Pr oh my god, there are vines everywhere. That might be. That might be another factor. Holy shit. Oh what? Oh wait. Oh oh oh. Okay okay. Look how badly damaged this bridge is. Okay, now I feel a little bit less bad. I just said that if she's just got to repair that one space missing, I'm going to feel bad. But if she built a whole new bridge, I wouldn't feel as bad because then it's understandable. Now it's completely understandable. She, look how badly damaged this bridge is. She pretty much had to make a new one over it. Not only that, but she's probably had to do it for every bridge in the Glen at once. And that is more understandable. That is crazy. I feel a lot less bad now. Because it's a lot more understandable. I still feel bad. But... The bridge of the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. You don't even know, mate. You don't even know. That's, that is... Insane. The land fermentation is happening faster and faster now. Like, looks like the vines are slowing it down. 
Well, no more are going to appear, so just be careful of that. Look at them, they're intertwining in the corners. It's crazy. This island has more moss covering our village, uh, covering than our village did. Would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. My mommy is making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not a grown-up yet. At this point, it don't matter. Just do it. <coughs> oh, you're the trader guy. Wait, hang on. This would be where we normally enter from the barrens. Because above, in another space, is the village, which I'm guessing everyone's evacuated to down here. Then the next square along would be the back entrance to the ruins, which the trader guard would normally be. So now he's moved down here, so everyone's moved down. Maybe all those areas have been destroyed, I don't know. Sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. I lost a lot of my stuff is back at my cart, which was sadly abandoned while I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favourite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you know anything like gears? Gears? Like metal spinning things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait. I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. Are they going to be big enough? That's a music box. Yeah. I bet there's lots of little bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I'm going to trade it away. It's one of my favourite things. Oh. Oh, what am I saying? You're the saviour. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it. Oh, we don't even need to trade for it! Okay! Dude! Last time we had to trade in order to get what we needed. <laughs> and now because things look dire, you're just like, oh, whatever. Music box. I wind up music box. Can we play it? No. By the way, if you ever see a big guy with goggles and a cool helmet, tell him the trader in the Glen said hi. Also ask him if he has any more music boxes for trading. Will do. You're talking about the guy that we need this for. I know. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, won't last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. Oh dear. Please guys, don't feel bad. Wait, can I use this? Yep, yeah, okay. This is how we get to you. <laughs> Are you okay? I want to go back home! Oh dear. Are you the demon goat? <laughs> yep. Nothing's biting. I wouldn't be surprised, to be fair. I can't even reach you! How'd you get over there? I guess that's just how he's living. I'm trying to fish. Hello, dude. What a day. Alright. The vines are everywhere. The plant lady must be protecting us. Yeah. Oh dear, nobody knows. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh no, is that what killed her? Not overexert- Oh my god, this is like the third bloody fake out with this. Jesus. Th that's probably what killed her. She was building a br uh, vines over this bridge to repair it, but then she touched the glitches and it immediately killed her. Or made her freeze. So- like the robots being corrupted and broken by the glitches. She's touched the glitch. And it's killed her. This is what ended her life. Not overexertion of building every bridge. It's because that the glitches are on this bridge. And it's... She's made contact with them. It's right in. Can I not investigate that? No, I can't check these squares. I can't check them. That's what killed her. That is what killed her. And this is the start of the Glen right here. If we came in normally. Holy crap. That is what killed her. So it wasn't the one big block. It wasn't rebuilding every single bridge. It's because she touched the glitches. <laughs> oh, why did I not put that together earlier? Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. It's okay, thanks. Yeah, we don't need to take food out of hungry mouths at the moment. Looks like the glen is deteriorating faster than ever now. Jesus. Is there anything else around here? Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made it out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh. Squares are bad news, man. <laughs> so why are all your houses shaped like them then? Hmm? Oh my god. So, can I not go any further this way? No. I'm gonna get a battery then. 
Maybe the light bulb can act as a battery. I don't know. Do you have four fireflies? Can't go that way. Hmm. I don't have a battery. That's the thing. And I can't go any further. Literally, there's, there's only these three outdoor sections and the ruins. And the ruins are very linear. Unless there are new vines to bypass stuff in the ruins as well. That's the only other thing I can think of, so I might have to do another search. Let's go do that. Let's have a look. Damn. Let's comb this area one final time. Might have to make this a fit. I don't know how long I'm going to make these videos. I might make them longer. I don't know. I haven't actually cut yet, but we've been on a roll so far, so... Hmm. You know what? I think I'll actually end it now since I got cut off a bit. So that'll be a 45 minute video. So in the next episode, guys, since we've got this music box and we just experienced May's fall to the glitches. Trying to help us. Met Calamus and Alula. We were able to actually solve the puzzle with the journal very quickly. We met up with the guy and he needs some stuff. In fact, I just realised that this has a clover on it. Damn. Alright. So maybe that'll help us as well. But with that... See you guys in the next episode where we help out this guy fix his plane, flying machine, and get into the refuge. See you guys then.